We are here to honor some exceptional women. Uh, we think it is wonderful to be able to select women in different areas of expertise and then we just bring them forward so that the community can understand their accomplishments and what they've done. Since we are a women's caucus, we are particularly interested in the things that our women are doing across our state. And this is an opportunity for us to acknowledge them and to say thank you and to uh, uh, maybe aspire to do some of the things that they're doing. Women serve in so many different roles and they play such a significant part uh, of our uh, society. They play a very important role in society. Uh, let's face it, women wear hats as, uh, as mothers, as business people, as sisters, as aunts, in all facets of society. Uh, women are making an impact. When you support a foundation, it gives you an opportunity to raise money to be able to provide not only scholarships to young women but also to provide an opportunity to help females in their particular careers or categories. Well the Women's Caucus Foundation is certainly a great entity to support and are doing great things uh, in the state for women and I would encourage any entity to certainly support the agency because of its work in the community and its work throughout the state in recognizing the importance of the work of women and the value of women and what they bring to the table and so it's certainly a great entity or organization to be affiliated with. Women are very, very important in the society because they play more than one role. And people who are mothers and people, women who have families, they can be celebrated. But women who do both that and things to better society are really what this group is about. The women of the uh, Legislative Women's Caucus is a very diverse group. We come from the North, the South, the East, the West, Republicans, Democrats, black and white, young, and I'm one of the young ones. No, <laughs> all young, I'm one of the old ones. Young and old, and um, we are probably the most diverse group of caucus members, I think, in, uh, among all the caucuses that there are. Um, we have done a lot of uh, initiatives. We have sponsored a lot of legislation having to do with child predators, having to do with banking, having to do with economic development, having to do with transportation, and we don't get that kind of recognition, unfortunately. Everybody thinks that just the men do that type of legislation, but we're here to tell you that it's the women that are doing the great legislation. A significant addition to our program this year is our scholarships. This year we're honoring two young ladies who are, as we know, are future leaders in our great state. And we're very happy to tell you that because of the sponsors and because of the tickets that you purchased, um, we are able to give these scholarships and this is something that we will be doing every year. So this is a new addition for us this year. We have not done that. We have honored these young women for the achievements that they have made, but this year we're going to honor them and we're going Going to help them financially and we're very proud of that and we thank you for helping us to do that. The Louisiana Legislative Women's Caucus Foundation is proud to present its 2010 Women of Excellence Awards. It is with great pleasure that we present the 2010 Women of Excellence Award to Robin H. Abadie in the category of business. that we present the 2010 Women of Excellence Award to Chef Elizabeth Dixon in the category of Culinary Arts. It is with great pleasure that we present the 2010 Women of Excellence Award to Laura F. Lindsay in the category of education. It is with 
great pleasure that we present the 2010 Women of Excellence Award to Andre D. Maddox in the category of Law and Justice. pleasure that we present the 2010 Women of Excellence Award to Frances B. Bennett in the category of Volunteerism and Civic Involvement. It is with great pleasure that we present the 2010 Women of Excellence Award to Rochelle Ammon in the category of Young High School Woman of Excellence. It is with great pleasure that we present the 2010 Women of Excellence Award to Whitney Don Bro in the category of Young Woman of Excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, the Louisiana Legislative Women's Caucus Foundation is proud to present to you again our seven outstanding 2010 Women of Excellence Awards honorees. A special heartfelt thanks is extended to our sponsors for making this event possible. You all serve as great role models for all of us. This year, as we said, we had 80 people nominated. Next year, we want 180 people. We know that there are women all over the state who are doing remarkable things on behalf of the state. On behalf of the state, you heard every one of them up here. Not one of them does anything for themselves. They don't look for any recognition. They don't ask for anything. They're doers. They do everything for other people. You all know people like that. You all know women who do these things. Please help us to find these women and nominate these women because we need to honor these women of excellence who are doing so many great things for all of us. All the women who accepted the awards of excellence gave no credit to themselves. They gave it to everybody else. I think it's wonderful for the Women's Caucus to be doing this. I think that women still need the support that they're giving to help open doors for them and to remove some of the barriers that they face. So having this opportunity is just a wonderful one. It's just a great honor. I'm really happy I was nominated for it and I think it brings a lot of positivity to my school and my community. There were such wonderful women in my category, just women who have contributed a lot to the community, have great businesses, and uh, want wonderful people. It really is quite an honor to be recognized by your peers to be a woman of excellence. Uh, it just amazes me that someone thought I was a woman of excellence. People out there are watching some things that women in our community are doing um, in business and community service and medicine and education. So it's good to see that we're recognizing women throughout the state. When we celebrate women, we encourage them, we exhort them, we inspire them to continue to press towards that, that goal, that higher calling. 